Hello everyone, my name is Charlie Anthony Vargas. I am a proud native New Yorker, Afro-Latino from Harlem, New York. For work, I practice law. I specialize in criminal defense. Uh, for the most part, I specialize also in areas that uh, deal with the under underserved communities, uh, such as housing law and family law. I also teach at Rutgers University under their School of Criminal Justice. Um, I have prior experience in teaching uh, detainees or incarcerated persons, uh, those that are eligible to receive college credits uh, with the hopes of them receiving a college education upon their release. Uh, I'm also a loving son, a loving brother, a loving uncle. I have a cute little niece. And I'm just excited to be here. I believe there are a variety of ways that men can empower women. One that I can think of is by actively listening. You do not have to respond. You don't have to prejudge. Just listen. That is the only way that you can come to understand what it is to be a, a person in their shoes. Two, if you hear other men uh, making misogynist, machista remarks, stop it. It's not cool. Don't laugh at the jokes. Um, don't let music just um, linger without you questioning or um, making sure that folks know what the music is about, even though they're trying to have a good time. Sometimes it's on how you react to passive misogynism. And men, while you're at the workplace, and a woman has a good idea, don't try to speak over her or put a little twist on it in order to own that idea, in order to colonize that idea. No, let that idea blossom under her leadership. Also, if you witness harassment of any sort, go to HR, report that harassment. No workplace should be an environment where women should be subjected to hostility in the form of sexual harassment. And, and this goes for all humans, but men, especially when it comes to relationships, don't mislead women. You don't have to lie to women. Allow them to make informed decisions. And that's how we create trust and understanding. 